Penboy69 wakes up at 4pm and what's the first thing that he does? He grabs his phone and he goes onto the hub. He faps. Not once, not twice, but three times. And then, what's he do? He gets out of bed? Wait, Fernboy69, you hadn't even gotten out of bed yet. But then wait, who's that? It's you. You don't wake up at 4pm, but at 4am. And you instantly get out of bed and you're outside watching the sunrise, changing your life for the better. I used to be Femboy69. You know, two, three years ago, that story I just told you, that was my life every day. I had the typical 9 to 5 work-life balance. I was working at a restaurant, I was working 11am to 11pm, usually to midnight if not further on and 1 and 2 in the morning. I was working more than 10 hour shifts, 5 days a week. And every single morning I woke up at 10 a.m. and I would do exactly what Femboy69 did and I would then go to work after doing those degenerate things in the morning serving customers and I just couldn't help but feel dirty I couldn't help but feel and kind of think oh yeah I'm one of those guys you know I'm at the bottom of the barrel I'm the crab at the bottom of the bucket and on my two days off you know legally you have to have two days off did I do the productive things did I do the things that another guy you on self-improvement did did I have cold showers did I go meditate did I go pursue my purpose did I go the, to the gym on my two days off no no no, no I I, I excuse myself to play video games on those whole two days without sleep because I had worked so hard during the whole week I could play video games all day and I remember that that was my life I only ever went outside out of my house for one reason and that was work I never went outside for no other reason not to talk to friends not to do anything just to work and then go home that was it and drink basically. I lived a very depressing life and I was mentally really down in the dumps. And I lived like that for a very long time. And it was simply because I didn't know what I could do. I didn't know that what the solution was. I didn't know that there was a way to fix your mental health, to get out of this rut that I was stuck in for so long. I didn't know that you could do something. I didn't basically didn't know that self-improvement was a thing. And that's why I stayed like that for way longer than I should have. I think it was more than a year I stayed living like that. In this video, I'm going to give you a complete simplified guide on how you can literally start on self-improvement right after this video. Literally after finishing this video, you have things that you can do and you could go do right now. So stick to the end of this video. I guarantee you that it could change your life. So I basically realized that to fix your life and actually change it for the better and start recovering both physically and mentally getting healthier, there are three daily wins that you need to achieve every single day and that is a physical win a mental win a spiritual win now let's get straight into the physical win now the physical win there are three things that i like to do now they are walking running and lifting now every morning you know i tend to go on these morning runs which you may have seen on my youtube shorts where i go out training in the morning where it'll either be morning walks morning runs but i usually tend to do it always outside in nature i don't really like running on a treadmill because you're inside and I feel like you're missing out so much on life if you know you could just go outside on a run down the forest you know and it's free as well you just go outside I feel like you miss so much so I like to do the walkings and runs outside if you can as well you know you might live in a city but you can still do something and then lifting you know actual weight training because well that is by far the best way to get the dream physique that you want you know I want to be big I have literally years years to go like I'm thinking 10 years down the line of what my physique will be from the gym and I, I'm thinking that far ahead but it is by far the best way I want to end up looking like Toji Fushiguro the um, anime character and you know, he's got the best physique you know that's kind of what I want and I need to do lifting for that now let's get into the second thing the mental win now every single day I do these things reading writing learning and gratitude journaling now the mental right this mental win i tend to think of it as the mental health side of things improving your actual mental health you know reading there is so many books out there with so many different knowledge on different things how to build a healthy relationship how to make money in the online world how to actually fix your mental health you can read books on fixing mental health and then writing down what you read it's just a really great way to really confirm the information that you're reading so it's kind of like yeah i'm actually like learning and understanding what i read i'm not 
just reading and then forgetting. And then kind of always having this learner's mindset, you know, like say you're going to the gym and you're doing, you know, a workout, but then you kind of still have this learning mindset. You learn from the bigger guys. Okay, so they do this. Maybe I could do this as well. Maybe this is actually better. Always keeping in mind that there is more that you can improve on, even if it's just 1% it's something. And then gratitude journaling. I think a lot of people in the modern day world have a very, very negative mindset, myself included. Two, three years ago, I was in a very dark place and my negative thoughts were basically with me all the time. My headspace and my thoughts were always really dark. It is kind of sad, man. Like, I feel like a negative mindset a lot of people really struggle with. And gratitude journaling helped me. You know, I know a lot of people journal, but specifically gratitude journaling, which is basically where you write down 10 things you're grateful for, because it's almost like you're forced forcing your brain. Yeah, think nice things, man. It's like you're realizing, yeah, I'm thinking quite negative stuff. You're forcing yourself to think positive stuff. And at first it's really quite hard, but then you find out that throughout the day you end up looking for more things to be grateful about. So gratitude journaling is a great thing. You just write down 10 things you're grateful for, and it could be anything. It could be this chair that I'm sitting on, the fact that I woke up today, the fact that it's beautiful weather. It could be anything. And the third one, the spiritual win. The things I do for this is mainly meditating, praying and studying. Now the spiritual win, I like to basically class this category as the pursuit of your purpose. You know, a lot of spiritual teachers out there, and I've had a couple myself, and basically all the books, all the teachers, all the senseis, the monks, everyone says this one thing. When a man finds his purpose, he is living his most fulfilling and happiest life. Not even just that, when he's in pursuit of his purpose, he's living his most happiest, fulfilling life. Now, our purpose, we don't know what it is, man. Like, I know like in like year nine, in like secondary school, all the teachers ask you like, oh, what do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know yet. I'm in year nine, man. I'm like 12 years old. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what your purpose is. And it's hard to in the modern day world when there's so many things influencing your mind on things you want to do. Social media, Instagram, TikTok, there's a lot of influence. So it's hard to find out what it is you really want to do. All of these things such as meditating, praying, studying, it helps you now narrow down, you know, meditating even as little as five minutes a day helps your mind become a lot more present and therefore narrow down on the things that you actually want to focus on. Praying for those who may be religious and studying. You may have a goal of to get in the best physique of your life. Study about that. Study about that goal. Once you accomplish it, you'll then move on to the next goal and study about that goal. And you'll be slowly getting closer to your purpose, what it is you really want to do. There is something that you really want to do right now, a main goal in mind, whether that be improve your mental health, go to the gym and get more physically fit, start reading books. The best way to actually do that is to study and about it and then actually do it. Now, those are the three things, three wins that you need to do every single day to actually end up fixing and changing and improving your life. Now, I know that this is basically a complete beginner's guide to how you can completely fix your life, basically a complete beginner's guide to self-improvement, how you could literally start right after this video. But what I just told you, it's kind of an information dump. That's a lot of information I just told you, man. So if you're literally just starting, just start with one of each category. You don't have to do every single thing right now. Just start with at least one of each category. One part of the physical win, one part of the mental win, and one part of the spiritual win. Maybe you want to start with lifting, but you're not ready to start doing morning runs and, you know, walking yet. So you're just starting with lifting. And then maybe you find it really hard to be journaling every single day, but you want to get into reading. So you do lifting, you do reading, and then spiritual, you do meditating. You're not doing every single thing that I said, but you're doing at least one of each. That's still three times better than what you were doing before. Because previously, before this video, you weren't doing anything. You're currently three times better. You're already 80% ahead of the majority of the population, majority of the guys who are doing all the degeneration, <laughs> degeneration, or doing all the degenerate habits. Like Femboy69, like younger me. You're currently way ahead, even with just three little things. And you can aim to do more over time. You now have a long-term goal in mind. Start off with what you can now, but then over time aim to do all of it. You actually have a goal on something that you can improve on now. I genuinely wish that I had this sort of video when I was going through my dark time. This is why I wanted to make this because I think this could really have helped me. Just a complete guide and okay, what can I do now? to actually start improving. And I want you to do something. This is kind of like the old physical step that you can do right now. After two weeks, stay consistent on this for two weeks. After two weeks, come back and just 
comment on how well you've done. Because I guarantee that there will be other men who do the same. There will be other men in this chat, in this community right now, in the comment section, who will be improving just like you. And seeing that will give you a spark of hope that there are other men who are struggling like me, but also want to improve. I'm not alone. And then you will actually be able to see in two weeks time that you've actually made slight improvements. You've actually made the first step because I guarantee you in two weeks that you will make progress. You'll physically improve, but more importantly, mentally. Mentally, you'll be in a much better place in two weeks time from now. That's only if you stay consistent. I really do hope that this video has helped you out. If you are starting to make a change, starting to improve your life, but you don't know where to begin subscribe to this channel because this channel this community i will do everything that i can to give you all the resources so that you can start on your own journey and most importantly stay consistent and don't give up see you in two weeks time man ah oh, man wow this weather is nice i'm in a really good mood i feel fucking great <laughs> okay and i've got my creatine and my water next to me oh a little butterfly's just flown past all right just spilled my water. Oh, you know what time it is. Oh, I'm glowing. What the fuck? All right, it's self-improvement.